going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo, a company that for the last few years haven't made the best choices when it comes to the direction of their gaming business with kind of flops like the Wii U or their choices that have led them to not be supported by third parties and whatnot. But they've kind of done a 180 recently with the Pokemon Go app. Of course, that's huge. And another thing they're doing, which I don't think will be as big as Pokemon Go, but it's going to be big to people like me. How old are you? Let me know in the comment section below. Kind of give me an idea of what you grew up with. Let me know the first console you ever played and how old you were when you played it. I'm an old, I'm an old guy. I'm closer to 40 than I am to 30. Uh, and I grew up with the NES. Nintendo Entertainment System was the lifeblood of my life as, a, as an adolescent growing up. Playing my Nintendo, playing Carnival, playing Castlevania, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, uh, Castlevania 2, Metroid. Um, these games really meant a lot to me growing up. Kid Icarus, of course, Mario Brothers, Mario 1, 2, and 3 were all amazing. It was magical for me for that time. I remember that feeling of playing a new game or going to Toys R Us or Kitty City, Lionel Kitty City, and getting a cartridge and coming home and playing it. And it was just magical for me. And so, even though I've gotten older, game consoles and handhelds have always been a part of my life. I don't think they'll ever go away. I'll be 60 years old uh, talking about games because it's something that I love. It's always kept me out of trouble. But the Nintendo Entertainment System has always had a special place for my heart, in my heart. And uh, Nintendo is actually doing something really special to commemorate the Nintendo. Uh, and I saw this on Facebook initially. I had to check, double check to see if it was real. And it actually is. You guys have seen the little consoles, like they have the Atari console that you can buy that has Atari games installed on it. They got one with Sega games. They have kind of like ROMs on them. Nintendo is releasing their own, a mini Nintendo system with 30 games. I'll drop a link in the description. Now, there are some good parts and some bad parts. Nintendo's classic NES comes with 30 games, and that's all it'll ever get. Sorry, cartridge collectors, which I am. Nintendo's newly announced miniature Nintendo console has been met with widespread enthusiasm, but it comes with a couple of caveats. According to Kotaku, Nintendo has confirmed the console will not connect to the internet and will not be able to play games beyond the 30 NES classics that come preloaded on the device. The tiny console announced this morning with the release date of November 11th costs $59.99 and connects to a TV via HDMI to play old school Nintendo titles with an NES gamepad. Quote, the Nintendo is a standalone device so it cannot connect to the internet or any external storage devices. The 30 games included with the system were chosen to provide a wide variety of top quality long lasting gameplay experiences, end quote. A Nintendo representative told Kotaku. The device's lid does not open either, so old cartridges are off the table. That doesn't make the Mini NES a bad idea by any means. In fact, at $60, you're saving money by purchasing the Mini NES instead of buying even half of the 30 games from the Wii U Virtual Console. The total cost of every title at $449 a pop from Nintendo's Virtual Console is $149.70. In other words, if you're eager to play even just 12 of the included 30 games, you'd be better off purchasing the Mini NES. Just don't expect it to be the miniaturized emulator of your dreams. So, this is actually pretty cool, man. Uh, it has some really great classics. It has Pac-Man, Zelda, Donkey Kong, uh, Super Mario Brothers, Metroid. Uh, I don't know exactly all the games on there, but I'm looking forward to finding out. This is something that I'm going to end up buying. It has two Nintendo controllers, and the console fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, I don't normally do stuff like that. I, no, I don't normally buy the little miniature consoles with ROMs on them, but this is a, an official Nintendo item. This is made by Nintendo, and uh, I'm going to definitely be picking this thing up just for my nostalgia. It'll be awesome to get this thing and let my kids load up some of these older games so they can kind of get a taste of what I grew up playing so they can understand what games used to be so they can really appreciate what they are today. You guys let me know in the comments below, are you too young to even care about the NES? Are you excited about buying this thing? Because I definitely am. I'll be grabbing it on November 11th when it releases, and uh, I can't wait to play it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,